Good morning, friends. Today I've chosen the book Morris Goes to School by B. Wiseman for our virtual story time. My son loved reading this book when he first learned how to read it and he thought it was really funny. So I hope you like it too. Here we go. Morris Goes to School. Morris the Moose wanted candy. He went to the wrong store. I see this says fish. Hmm. The man in the store said, we don't sell candy. Can't you read? Then he showed Morris the candy store. The man in the candy store said, what would you like? Morris looked at the candy. He liked the gumdrops. He said, give me some of those. The man said, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Morris looked. He had six pennies. I have four pennies, he said. Hmm. The man laughed. You have six. Can't you count? Don't you go to school? Morris asked, what is school? The man said, I will show you. But first, here are six gumdrops. They are one for a penny, and you have six pennies. Then the man took Morris to school. The children said, oh, look, a real moose. The teacher said, hello, my name is Miss Fine. The man said, he never went to school. Morris could not say anything. His mouth was full of gumdrops. Morris swallowed his gumdrops. Then he said, my name is Morris the Moose. I want to learn to count. I want to learn to read too. I like candy. Miss Fine said, hello Morris. Welcome to our class. Please sit at a desk. Morris tried, but he didn't fit. He had to sit on top of the desk. <laughs> we will now study the alphabet, said Miss Fine. This is an A, this is a B. Morris yelled under the desk. Morris hid under the desk, so sorry. He yelled, where is the B? I'm afraid of bees, they sting. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter B. This one here, it doesn't sting. Then Miss Fine said, and next there is the letter C. Oh, I like the sea, Morris said. I love to swim. No, no, said Miss Fine. I meant the letter C. And next, Miss Fine said, there is D. N E and F G H I. Morris yelled, I have an I. I have two of them. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter I. Morris, please don't interrupt again. Morris didn't. He couldn't. Morris wasn't there. He had to leave the room. See, it says, it says pass in his hand. He has a pass. Boys and girls. Hmm. One door said boys. One door said girls. Morris couldn't read yet. Uh-oh. He opened the wrong door. A girl cried, stop! You can't come in here! This is for girls. The other one is for boys. Morris told Miss Fine, there is no door for a moose. Miss Fine put up a sign, boys and moose. <laughs> when Morris came back, Miss Fine said, now we will spell. Cat is spelled C-A-T. Dog is spelled D-O-G. Morris looks sad. Well, what's the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Miss Morris said, you didn't spell moose. Can anyone spell moose? asked Miss Fine. A boy said, M-O-S-E. A girl said, no, no, it's M-O-O-C-E. You are both wrong, said Miss Fine. It is spelled M-O-O-S-E. Morris said, oh, I am hard to spell. 
Miss Fine said, I think it is time for lunch. The children opened their lunch boxes. Some of them had a cheese sandwich. Some had cream cheese and jelly sandwiches. Some had hamburgers. Each of them had a piece of fruit, but Morris had nothing. He ate lunch anyway. Munching on the grass. After lunch, the children played. Some played ball and some jump rope. Morris did both at the same time. <laughs> Miss Fine said, children, now it is time to rest. The children rested on their desks. Morris tried, but he was too big. Miss Fine let him use her desk. When rest time was over, Miss Fine said, wake up, wake up. It's time to finger paint. Morris said, I will hoof paint. <laughs> you can tell which painting he did. Miss Fine said, now we will study arithmetic. Who would like to count? A boy counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. No, no, said Miss Fine. Who knows what comes after eight? Morris said, I know, bedtime. Nine is the answer, said Miss Fine. Nine comes after eight. Who knows what comes after nine? A girl counted on her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> ten, she said. Ten comes after nine, Miss Fine said. That's right. Morris looked sad. What's the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Morris held up his hooves. I can only count to four, he said. Miss Fine said, you can count higher than that. I will show you. She counted on Morris's hooves. Then she counted on Morris's antlers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> Morris said, I like to count. I will never wear a hat. Miss Fine said, now I think it is time to sing a song. What's a song, Morris asked. Miss Fine said, I will show you. And she sang, I've been working on the railroad. What is a railroad, asked Morris. A railroad has tracks, said Miss Fine, and they look like this. Oh, I know what tracks are, Morris said. Firemen climb them. No, no, said Miss Fine. Firemen climb ladders. Ladders go up like this. Morris said, let's sing another song. I'm learning a lot. Miss Fine said, no, we just have time for a game. Let's play make believe. A girl said, I am a tree. A boy said, I am a monkey. Another boy said, I am a moose. Morris and the children laughed. Morris went to the coat closet. He said, I am a coat closet. The children laughed again. Miss Fine laughed too. Then the school bell rang. Morris asked, is that the ice cream man? Miss Fine said, no, it's time to go home. And Morris gave the children their coats. They're hanging on his antlers. The children and Morris said, goodbye, Miss Fine. Miss Fine said, I will see you all tomorrow. Morris ran to the forest. He took money from his hiding place. He wanted candy. This time, he went to the right store. He said, hello, I want some gumdrops, please. The man said, hello, they are one for a penny. How much do you have? Morris looked. He had five pennies. I have five pennies, he said. Give me five gumdrops, please. The man gave Morris the gumdrops. He said, you have learned arithmetic. What else have you learned in school? Morris said, I learned how to hoof paint. I learned how to spell moose. I learned how to be a clothes closet. And I learned all the numbers in the alphabet. The man said, you mean all the letters, don't you? 
Morris wanted to say yes. He tried to say yes, but Morris couldn't. His mouth was full of gumdrops. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Morris goes to school. Come back tomorrow for the next story. Bye.